Gotcha. Now, I want to move on to the to the heavyweight scrap that just happened this weekend. Um, did you mm -hmm. see Phil Joyce take on um Joseph Parker, man? Yes, I did, and um, I've been telling people for quite some time. I had a couple of camps with Joe Joyce. You know, he he's nothing like I ever box before concerning his engine. He has an engine like no other. He's a big man that could take a shot. Oh, he's a big man that keeps on trucking. He's a big man that's faster than he appears to be. He has deceiving power. He has deceiving speed. He has deceiving distance on his punch. Everything about Drew Joyce is very um, deceiving when you just look at him from the outside. He's not that appealing on the naked eye. But those that have been in the ring with him know exactly what he is. And what he is is the real deal. And uh, credit to Joseph Parker for for giving it his all. But, you know, he came up short against a better fighter, more determined fighter in Joe Joyce the other night. So, you know, it was good for boxing. It definitely was good for the heavyweight division because Joe Joyce is on his own kind of star and he's been around waiting for his shot for quite some time. And um, that was a that was a, a good rocket to get started on the road that he's on. So what is it about Joe Joyce exactly? Because, you know, it's like you said, um, from the outside looking in, he doesn't look fast at all. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I guess some of his technique doesn't look, I guess I want to say appealing to maybe some people. Um, I know some people were expecting Joseph Parker to win. I know in his fight, um, a few fights ago against Daniel Dubois, um, uh, uh, quite a number of people thought he was going to lose that fight. He was the underdog heading in and he, you know, stopped both guys. So what is it about him that people just aren't getting and they just keep, you know, downplaying his skills overall? Well, what it is about him is he's everything about him is deceiving and it doesn't look good to the naked eye because, like I said, he appears slow. He appears like he's not punching hard. He appears that he doesn't have good feet movement. He appears that he, you know, his feet is stuck into the mud. He appears that he doesn't have a good jab. But when you take all the appearances away and you realize everything he is, he's really a complete fighter because he's at the highest level beating guys with jabs. He at the highest level knocking guys out with short six inch left hooks. He's at the highest levels putting pressure on guys and where they're feeling like the boogeyman is on. Because, you know, if we're talking about, you know, I would consider Joe Joyce the actual boogeyman of the heavyweight division. And I mean that literally too. boxing him or fighting him. You're in a fight or a boxing match that you've never, never been in before. And if you can't deal with his pressure like most can't. Not only will you get hurt, you'll get ran out the ring. You'll never be the same. And he's, you know, he snatches spirit too, I believe. I don't believe spiritually uh, people are the same after they fight fighters like Joe George. So I, a lot of us have been comparing some of, his, some of his tactics and some of his ways to uh, uh, the great George Foreman. And they do have things in common. But I think in some sort, uh, Joe Joyce have certain attributes over George that George may not have had. Um, some of those attributes, I, I, I will have to go with the six inch, six inch punches. I've never seen George really knock guys out with six inch punches um, the way George, uh, uh, Joyce do, especially with his left hook. Um, um, a lot of George knockouts that I've ever seen coming up was him actually winging, winging, winging. Look at the left hook that Joyce hit topping with that knocked him all the way across the ring. It's the same left hook that he knocked Joyce out with. Look at the way... Uh, it's the same left hook that he knocked uh, Parker out with. Look at the way that he beat uh, Daniel Dubai with just a really a, a educated left hand, an offbeat jab. These are things that you have to be fundamentally sound and technically sound to get away with. So you can't be blind to the fact, looking at these guys get these kind of results like Joe Joyce. He's getting incredible results and doing incredible numbers. But he's been getting a lot of slack for it before the other night. So I hope people are willing just to face the fact that he's a boogeyman. He can fight. He's a deceiving fighter. Don't go off of what you see. You can't do that with him because everything about him is deceiving. His speed, his power, his distance, his long shot, everything is deceiving about him. Even when he, someone can hear Joe Joyce talk, even in conversation, and he doesn't, he may not come across that, uh, how can I say, that smooth or I guess suave, I don't want to say intelligent because he's a very intelligent guy, but he's actually all of those things that you, that you would get out of a regular conversation with somebody up front. Joe Joyce is all of those things. It's just the way he go about it. Like, you know what I mean? And even in a boxing ring, it's the way that he go about his game plan or the way that he go about his fighting system. But he has all those attributes and he's getting trained by 
and has great chemistry, in my opinion, with uh, Salas, one of the best uh, trainers in the game that, you know, come from Cuba, a uh, proven trainer. And him and Joyce have a, a great chemistry. So that's been working well for Joe. And, um, you know, I love to see them together. Gotcha. Now, you know, the big question, as soon as the fight ended, man, um, a lot of people were saying that, you know, Joyce can really take a shot. Um, Parker was hitting them with some crazy punches throughout the entire fight. But now the question is, do you believe that Joyce can take that same shot from Deontay Wilder and live to tell that tale? Uh, the, the, the question is, if he could take it, how how many of those can he take? Um, uh, Joe Parker never been the biggest puncher. He's never been someone that get knocked out of ours, but he, he has enough power to get somebody's respect. But the other night, it seemed that he wasn't getting no respect from Joyce. And that says a lot about Joe Joyce Shin. So to get back to Joyce and Deontay, the question is, how many can he take? I don't know, that's a different type of power. Deontay's a totally different man. Um, it'd be interesting just, just to see for the sake of Joe Joyce Chin. It would be interesting just to see how many can he take. But I will say this, the kind of power Deontay have is not meant for no one to continue to take over and over and over and over. And not... Am I just saying that? But his opponents say that. Fury says that. Um, uh, Ortiz says that. You know, everyone that's for them said that. And the ones that didn't say it, they probably are still asleep right now from what he did to them. <laughs> um, in terms of how a matchup between them would play out, would you see Joe Joyce making it to the 12th round like um, like Tyson Fury and Stavern that first fight? Or do you just expect that at some point, maybe in the midway point, or the championship rounds that Deontay just cracks them and puts them down for good. It'd be interesting because I, I feel as though if you can't knock Joe Joyce out, then it's going to be very, very hard beating him by decision because he just kind of keep coming. And I believe if it's a man foot a job to see if he can handle that type of heat that's coming his way is Deontay Wilder. Like, you know what I mean? That's because of the power factor, the equalizer. Um, uh, uh, I mean, Joyce has a chin, man. But it, now it comes across like the narrative is, is starting to become now, especially since the other night, is how good is his chin? I wonder, could he take Wilders? The question is, how many of those can he take? If he's able to stand up to the power, then that'll make the fight more interesting. But if he's not, if he's not, and the, the power is something he never felt before, and he have a bad reaction from it, then he'll get out of there just like everyone else did. You know, Joe Joyce is a hell of a fighter, though, man. He's a bad night for anyone. Anyone, he'll give anyone a run for their money. Anyone, and if you can't knock him out, God be with you. Um, if you can't make him respect you, God be with you because it's going to be something that you've never, never felt before. And I'm talking about the pressure like he put, even when he's not punching guys, he's putting mental pressure on them, he's putting presence pressure on them. He's always in their face, even when they think they're out of range, he's in the air at them. Like, you know, he's just a headache, man. You know, he's a real headache. You know, I boxed him. He was a headache to box a lot. He's not a, he's not a nice man at all, <laughs> especially in the ring. He's a mean guy. <laughs>